Voters in Cheney are being asked to fund the construction of two new middle schools. But ballots are due in the mail by tomorrow, as we mentioned. KXLY 4's Eric Loney is live where one of the new schools could be built. Yeah, we're at Windsor Elementary School, one of the new middle schools. If this bond is passed, we built basically on a piece of property right next door. Mike Stark is the principal of Cheney Middle School, sort of the focus of the bond because it is so overcrowded. Uh, first question, what will the bond do to folks' taxes if it's passed? Yeah, that's a great question. Everybody always wants to know that. Um, we anticipate, actually, that it wouldn't add any uh, additional tax burden to our constituents. Um, the bond, the district's been pretty thoughtful in the timing of this bond, and it would actually replace some current bonds that we have now that will be sunsetting next year. And so this bond would just come on the same time those previous bonds expire and that's actually possible it could be a few cents per thousand less than what taxpayers are currently paying now which is just a little bit less than five dollars per thousand and if it's passed what will it do what will it build great question too uh, two new middle schools 79 million dollars uh, one as you said right here another one in the in the town of Cheney proper um, the plan now would be to tear down the current middle school and then uh, access some state matching funds uh, to the tune of about $18 million, and we would use that to construct a brand new elementary school somewhere between here and the Airway Heights area. Now, the issue is just overcrowding. You guys are busting at your seams. We're busting at the seams. Uh, the, the building itself that we're in now was uh, designed to house about 750 kids. Currently, we're at just a little bit over 910. We've got several hundred kids housed in portable units. Um, our, probably our biggest issue is common spaces, things like crowded hallways, crowded cafeterias, crowded gymnasiums. You know, those are things that portables don't really address. Okay, Mike Stark, thanks very, very much. Thanks for being up with us this yeah, morning. Again, uh, ballots due in the mail tomorrow. Mike Clyde?